Hi, you're with Mike Redding from teacherstraining.com.au where we love to help you motivate, manage and engage your students. In a previous video I've shown you already how to set up and use Google Spreadsheets and how you can use Google Spreadsheets as a dynamic link back to the internet so that you can quickly build teaching resources. So once we've built our list of resources that we're going to use then what we can do is we can use Google uh, and specifically Google Spreadsheet to organize that data for us. One of the things that I've found that younger students love, but even the older students, is that they love to be able to get their information and then put them into gadgets. Now, remember if you use Microsoft Excel or a similar program, then when you've organized your data, all you get is a graph on the screen. But Google have a lot more interactive uh, tools for your students. One of those things I'll show you right now. Now, for the younger students, instead of if you're doing a graph, instead of just having a line on the page, you could also have a look at bars of stuff, which puts in pictures like horses and chocolate bars rather than just a line. One of the other uh, interactive graphs that you can use is motion charts, and I've j created another video on that. And once again, you could watch that video by the uh, the link that's on your screen right now. But one of the ones that the students really love is they love to use these word finds. So I'm just going to add this to our spreadsheet. Now you'll find over here that you have your settings, so it's asking you where do you want to get your information from, and so I'm going to tell it that I want this list of words to be included in the word find. I'm just going to use 10 rows and 10 columns for now. I click apply and close, and what happens is that Google uh, then goes away and builds a word find for me. So here's our word find. And one of the great things about this is that once you find one of the words, then it will automatically mark it off here for you. So let's just find one of the words right now. Okay, so I found the word violet here. So I'm just going to highlight that by just holding down my cursor. And you'll notice that what it does is it highlights the word over here, but it's also crossed it off just over here. So once again, highly interactive, real-time feedback in the classroom, which is one of the hallmarks of student engagement and student motivation, uh, and the students love to do it. It can be one of those things that if you've got a bit of spare time and you're doing a particular topic, you can teach your students this skill and they can create word finds for each other. What I would suggest is you go and create a Google account and then from there just start to play around with this. But instead, remember, it's re insert and then gadget not charts. There's so many great things for you to check out. If you'd like to find out more information about how to use Google in the classroom, or you'd like some more tips on student engagement and student motivation, then you can go to teacherstraining.com.au uh, and you'll find loads of short tips and tricks uh, and great ideas for your students over there. Thanks for watching.